seven uh, NHL stars who've been around a bit in the nicest possible way. They've got two intelligent coaches, so it should be a good battle. Should be an excellent game. Coach Matty Kanan has his finished side well prepared. They came into the game against France as the favorites and certainly had control of the majority of that game. Petri Alonen in the French goal was under constant pressure. The Finns look stronger. They've got good experience on defense, and they've certainly got guys that can put the puck in the net. The Finns with Marcus Ketter will be playing from right to left, and they're still going with a fairly short squad as we take a look at Tim Taylor behind the American bench. He's been with... Uh, Yale University for a long, long time. Nine world championships he's been involved in. His backup is John Cunniff, 49-year-old ex-New Jersey Devil coach. So a lot of coaching talent as well as playing talent for both teams. Tim Taylor made comments earlier that he was quite pleased with the side that he put together. The team, unlike usual, coming in from day to day with players. It looks as though the team is pretty well set. It's got a good group of kids from university, hockey, and a couple of NHLers. He feels that it's good experience for the kids and they should be well prepared for 94 when the Olympics come around again at Lillehammer. Well, on defense, he's had the privilege of working with Beers and Weinrich, Burt. These guys have been tough up front, just to name a couple. Turcott, Modano, Olchik, and Waite, Doug Waite has been a nice, pleasant uh, surprise out there. He's played well. So the Americans now playing from left to right. Get this one underway. That comes back to Beers. Beers throws it over to the far side. The Americans now starting down on the left side. We see an American team with the Monty taking a swipe at that one. We see an American team, as I said, a nice mixture of college kids and NHL professionals, as they have done in the past. But on this occasion, they feel settled. Wait, takes the shot. Ketterer went across the crease with his right foot. Wait was perfectly positioned there. Got the shot away, and that trickles out into neutral ice territory. Going back for it is Weinrich. Weinrich puts it up into neutral ice territory. The Americans stopped at the blue line, and the Finns now get a first real touch of the puck. Big shot in there. That one is kicked away. Both teams testing the goaltenders early. Through the circle, up into the middle to number 27, Godro. Godro threw that in deep. Laukinen couldn't get a handle on it, and that comes all the way back to Hatcher. Darian Hatcher muscles along the boards. Going after it is Modano. Modano can't keep it in. That bounces out as far as the blue line, and the Americans gloving it down. The long shot comes in. Ketter took a a piece of that and steered it away. A big hit along the boards. You can see Turcott going in with a cross check. Modano now will mix it up. Number 27, Gojo for the Americans on the short side. And the Americans coming out fast in this first period. Back come the Finns now. Working down on the left side. 27, Timo Peltima is in the lineup. He's taken out of the play, and both teams go for a change of personnel. Very quickly, Modano and number eight, Turcotte, established themselves, putting a lot of pressure on the Finns. The Finns are going to find out in a hurry that the Americans are a lot quicker than the French were. On the other hand, the Americans had a tough game against the Czechs in their first uh, game of this 93 World Championship, so they might be better prepared coming mm -hmm. into this one. Craig Johnson here, the number one St. Louis draft choice back in 1990, lets this one fly. Still 21 years old, playing at the University of Minnesota. Seems to know what it's all about out there. Ketter quick to cover up the rebound. Face off in Finnish territory. That comes on the wing. The Americans dropping it back. Kept in nicely by Moran. A chance now. That's shot across by Drury. And the Americans going through a good early spell in this first period. Moran keeps it in. Drury combing in front of the net as that's gone over the far side. Plant. We've got the college line out there with Plant and Drury. And the Finns now breaking quickly. Sarakoski. Sarakoski doubles back as far as the blue line and gives that away. Plant was way back there to help intercept. And the Americans come forward. They're looking confident. They're looking in control. Drury hit the blue line as that puck was tapped down slight offside on the play whether it's slight or not it's still an offside 
You can see what the idea was coming up the middle to move the puck to the outside. The wingers really going hard up and down the boards. Pass from Johnson just deflected prior to the blue line. The jury continued on over for the offside call. Again, we're going to see some quick changes out there from both teams. A long way to go in this two-week tournament. Stay with us on Eurosport because we'll be here right until the end. May 2nd is the final game in Munich. After one week in Dortmund, we all move over to Munich where they're playing the Group A part of this two-team uh, competition. And the playoff games are held over there. And then finally, when the top four are selected from each group, they'll play down in sudden death games and we'll be left with two for gold and silver on May the 2nd. The referees having a word with the timekeepers. They're taking a look at the lineup. There's some concern as to the American lineup. A couple of the players for the U.S. having a word with the officials. We heard on the announcement uh, or the PA system a moment ago with the referee come to the timekeeper's bench. And I've seen this in hockey games before, but not at this level. Have they left someone off? That would be embarrassing and it could be costly. It looks like Waite is saying they've got someone down twice, so there could be a misunderstanding. I find it hard to believe that at this level someone would be left off the score sheet. But uh, I've seen stranger things happen. Well, especially when your coach is from Yale. I mean, you wouldn't think there'd be a <laughs> chance for error on that one. I'm not going to touch that line. You don't have to be that educated to be a coach. I couldn't resist that because... We're sitting next to Larry Huras, who's a coach of Rouen. Fortunately, he's speaking in French right now, and he can't hear me. Absolutely. He's in the other booth. There's not much he can do about us talking about him anyways. He's only six foot four. We don't have to worry about him. Still some confusion out there as Tim Taylor looks on. A stoppage in play. As you can appreciate, Olchuk having words with Taylor. And the officials still trying to sort this one out. The Americans came out flying, had a really good couple of shots on Ketterer. And right now, this could take the steam out of their engines. Monty, who wears three all the time, is getting a close inspection from the referee. Ed Olchek trying to play ambassador. He's got the C on his jersey. Monte, Weinrich, Olchek. All NHL stars out there along with Utila. The Finns don't seem to be too bothered about this. An official from the U.S. team has just walked across the ice and he's now having a look at the official timesheet. Well, we can tell you that uh, earlier today, the Canadians beat the Swedes 4-1, to one, a good result okay, for Canada you speak yeah. over the world champions from last year. The Czechs blanked the Germans 5-0 on a game played live on Eurosport earlier today. They're saying there's 20 on the list, but 21 on the bench. I'm being upset, not saying anything so perhaps you can pick this up a lot of nodding of heads it seemed to indicate that everything is okay I really don't think that Smatikainen in his wildest dreams would want to see the Americans penalized for something like this or lose a player for something like this it's probably just an administrative error if it is an error Now Tikkanen gets in there to have a word or two. The Americans, as we were saying, Richard, at the top of the program, seem to be settled already. So many teams 
come over with just a handful of players looking for releases from the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs. But right now, they seem to have a pretty feisty squad out there, a mixture of NHL players and college kids. Doug Waite, Poe Dean, Godro, Hatcher, Olchik, Richards, Modano, Turcotte, Burt, Weinrich, Amonte, Beers. These guys have all played in the National Hockey League. And you look along, and you've got Plant and Drury, college kids, out there with Richter and the goaltender who performed so well in the first game, Michael Dunham, who was the New Jersey draft pick uh, in 1990, now playing for the University of Maine. An excellent performance. So the college kids at this level can stay with the NHL pros, but the NHL pros are relied on heavily to score the goals and to get physical when it counts. Well, the game sheet has now been skated across the ice to coach Tim Taylor by Ed Olchek. He's having a look at it. This game is coming to you live from Dortmund. The delay is, has been caused by an error in the lineup. You can see Matt Kanan now starting to become a, bit, a little animated. While this is going on, we're going to take a commercial break. Hopefully, when we come back, they will have sorted this out. So stay with us. There's no score. We've only uh, played a couple of minutes in this one. The confusion is still there. Stay with us. We're going to take a short break. The action will continue in a moment. Well, that was a short break because they've just seemed to sort it out out there. We're ready to play the face-off in the neutral zone. The Finns working it down. Sidon tapping it forward. That goes right in front. Wait hammers that off the boards. It doesn't come out of the zone. Wait goes in to try to pick it up again. And the loose puck is batted by a hand, so we'll have a face off and hopefully we can get this game moving now. Mike Richter is between the pipes for the Americans out there. Richter, 26 years old with the New York Rangers since 1988. Let's take a look at some of the action along the boards. Things getting a bit rough. Two fins for the price of one. Bovio and number two, Hamakoski taken out of the play by Podim. A loose puck right at the side of the net. And number 15 there, Alatalo almost had an open shot at goal. Alatalo was pressed up against the woodwork. The big slice from Richter frees the puck. And now the Americans start to come down on the right side. Some good forechecking from the Finns as that shot right back in. Waite comes back in to help out. Off the boards from Hauer. Amonti. Amonti puts it to the far side. Monty now still coming down. Hapakoski goes up against Amonti. Koivu working along in the corner. Amonti looks up at the referee waiting for a call of some kind, but that doesn't happen. And the whistle blows. Another faceoff. Puck coming just outside the blue line and brought back in. For the offsides, both teams getting changes. Look at Sean Podine as he makes his way to the bench. 25-year-old who's seen action with the Edmonton Oilers. The crowd trying to get themselves into this. The pause has slowed things up a bit. Modano pokes and shoves through the face-off circle. Turcotte went ahead over the line. The Americans missed that at the red line. And that uh, shot in by Sally Noya going over to the far side is Barvio. Dumped all the way down the ice and the chase is on now. Laukinen, Salinoya, Salinoya up on the right side, Salinoya hits the blue, flips it in, but look at all the Americans back to help out, coming back on the attack, the Americans now hitting the red line, long shot in there, Ketter gloves it down, Godro getting a piece of that, Godro follows in to do some forechecking, that comes out over the boards, it'll be another chase, uh, change of personnel out there for both teams. 
both teams changing quickly. They will throughout the game. There's a lot of depth on both sides. They can play three or four lines without a problem, so there's no point in not changing quickly. Referee Bukharev seems to have things under control now. It took a while to sort out that delay, but the game now well and truly underway. No score in the first period here. The Americans against the Finns. The Americans moving from left to right in case you've just joined us. Chikinen gets set for the faceoff. Olchek does the honors for the Americans. A chance now. And Waite does a lot of slashing there on Hamelainen. Hamelainen taken out of the play. Waite, some great forechecking, trying to get it out front. Olchek was standing there all on his own. And the puck didn't come his way. The Finns seem to be confused in their own end. The push in there from Beers. And that didn't free the puck coming down is Corpusalo. Corpusalo throws it out front. The loose puck is there. Corpusalo, the shot comes in. Richter watches that as it goes in the, in the corner. Peltima threw it back out front. And the Americans now start out with speed. Amante slows it down and throws it over to the far side. The Americans using the boards. Wait. Takes a hit. Modano loses his stick. That gets caught along the boards, and both teams start to get a little physical out there. set now for the face-off just outside the finish zone and the Americans with Drury Drury backhands it off the boards Sacco goes in after his man and that's pumped all the way into American territory Drury whistles that the other way around and the Americans now trying to get it out of their own zone flipped right back in behind Richter going after it is Moran Moran was spun around Coming out with it now is Richards. Richards trying to get it out of the zone. He does. Gives it to Sacco. Sacco one-hands it through. Coming up quickly now to Plant. Plant taken out of the play nicely. And the Finns now pick it up. Finns coming back on the attack. Sarakoski picks up the puck at the blue line. He's poke-checked. And the play reverses direction. Laukinen taps it back along the blue line. Sarakoski or Hapakoski rather, losing control on the far side. The pass was intended for Sacco, that didn't happen. And Vitakoski now tees it up, takes the shot. Took a deflection off of Burtz, and that goes high. Good quick turnaround from defense to offense by the Finns. Vitakoski took a bit of time with the big windup. The Americans with plenty of numbers back to defend. Reflected that up into the crowd. Faceoff coming just inside the American blue line. Koivu steps into the fray along with Modano. The Americans win that one, and Gojo or Hatcher picks it up. Laukinen tapped it forward. No real pattern to the play here in the first period yet. Both teams yet to settle down. Palo shoots it in. Hatcher, six foot five, tried to bring it out. Modano having problems. A chance now for the Americans, or for the Finns rather, and Palo just couldn't get a handle on it. The break for Modano. Modano trying to use his size and weight to steer himself against Laukinen. Ketterer goes down. Out front is Turcotte. Waiting there was Godro. And Koivu. Koivu with a little head fake. Threw it back and put himself in trouble. Now Koivu tried to get it up to 15. Alatalo. Koivu is a nifty little mover out there. Keep your eye on Palo, too. This guy can put the puck in the net. Turcotte. Turcotte has Gojo on the left wing. And Modano with the big reach going in now. Takes the shot. Ketter is there. The return shot came in. And eventually gloved down by Ketter. Modano with that big reach and the big stride. Broke free for just a moment. But this guy came up big. Great display of reflexes from Marcus Ketterer. First save coming on Modano as he's on the fly. Ketterer seems to be sliding into no man's land. The rebound is there. The Americans still can't put it in with a good second shot from Lazaro. So Ketterer being tested early. Ketterer, the 
the fifth round Buffalo draft choice in 92. Always comes up big in the world championships. Started this year's games with a shutout over the French, who didn't have a lot of quality shots on him, but there were a few good opportunities, and he's got one win under his belt and a shutout, so he's come into this game ready to play. Codine spun around in the corner. That comes to the hash marks to Sally Noya. Sally Noya tips it through. Niemann poked uh, off the play nicely, and the Americans coming back in numbers. Some good stuff from the Americans out there. Waite, who's got a lot of moves, threw it up onto the wing. A nice drop pass back, taken out of the play there is Weinrich, but he recovers, gets it through, and now the Finns come up. Three men crossing the blue, crossing the red. Niemann takes the shot. Richter's way out of his net to smother it and force the face-off. Richter way out of the cage. Comes up big. Finns haven't had a lot of pressure on Richter, but a couple of quality shots from them. This is a good opportunity. Just inside the blue line by the time the shot is taken. Niemann gets all of that one. Richter has a good sight of it all the way and doesn't have any problem with it. Face off now going after it is Travis Richards, Uni University of Wisconsin player. That's thrown rink wide. And the Americans with Moran trying to break free. He can't do it. Going after it is Johnson, but he's taken out of the play. The Finns now have something to say about it as Peltima moves down quickly on the left side. Sacco overskated that. Peltima couldn't get a stick on it. And Sacco gets it free to the far side. Richards took a shot, ended up behind the net, and the Finns now start to pick up their game. Peltima tipped that free. All the way back now for number seven, Moran. Moran starts it up. He didn't play a lot against the Czechs as that's tipped through. Plant couldn't hang on to it. A lot of play here in the neutral zone as both teams close each other down. Passing isn't as crisp as it could be. There are a lot of bouncing pucks and guys over skating the play. Utila fed that through, and that goes over the top of the net. An intelligent play by Utila. The Americans tried to break out, but the referee got in the way. And we have a whistle on the play. That was close. That went over the top of the cage. No prizes there for guessing who this guy supports. Let's look at this collision. It's one of the best hits of the tournament. Modano going head-on into the referee. Excellent action there around Richter. As that sailed over the net. off now in the zone Sarakoski gets it all the way back shot Richter again gets in front of it Hatcher double teamed in the corner Sarakoski and Rhea Yarvi are there Sarakoski comes up with the puck this guy can motor the shot comes in that went off a of skating the Americans now start to pick it up Modano Modano trying to get it up forward but Laukinen had a say about that Laukinen got the stick in Godro was the intended receiver and back comes Vitakoski, big shot in there. Hatcher gets it in the circle. The Americans unable to connect with the pass. And back forward is Hamelainen. Both teams changing on the fly. Modano goes in after his man. Big hit by the 22-year-old Minnesota North Star. Howard shoots it in. Both teams still trying to finding their feet out there. The shot from Beers is not a difficult one for Ketterer. And back forward is Weinrich. Weinrich throws that up. A chance now for Wait, Wait. Quick shot. The wrist shot is gloved down by Ketterer. And quickly everyone moves in to have words and a few shoves and pushes out there. I've been impressed with this guy, Wait, who went from New York to Edmonton just before the trade deadline, March 22nd. This guy can move. He's got a quick release. 22 years old with good size. Going around the outside, electing to shoot while he's on the move. Right into the glove of Ketterer. There's no rebound on the play, and both teams had two or three guys involved. A little minor altercation after. The whistle had already been blown. Still no score in this first period. 
the Americans against the Finns. Officials are not happy with that face-off, so we'll do it all again. This game is coming to you live from Dortmund in Germany. The Group B of the two groups out there, the Group A, six teams competing in Munich all week. Koivu in the face-off circle. That comes back. The American beer couldn't hang on to it. And it's tipped over to the far side by Palo. Alatalo dances along the boards, being hit there by Weinrich. Weinrich goes in heavily. Alatalo and Koivu now start to mix it up. Some good stuff from the Finns. Palo is working right out front. Eventually, Wade comes back to tie him up, and that bounces by the side of the net. Some chopping there by Alatalo. He's giving as good as he gets out there, and the Americans gain control and take it out over the blue. Wait, still motoring. Wait, a chance to shoot. Wait goes around one man, put it right in front, and that was deflected. Amonti was right there. Palo brought it out of the zone. A chance as Amonti spins around, and eventually it's dumped into the corner right on the hash marks now, and the Finns bring it out. Back on the attack is Koivu. He steered away nicely by Howard. And the Americans, with three guys on one side, throw it up on the boards. Vitakoski goes for a change, but not before he dumps it to the far side. Big shot. Richter gloves it down. Richter. Two Richters out there for the Americans. Mike and Barry. Mike is the goalie. Laukinen gets back. Utila is there. Utila gave that one away. Johnson lost out to Niemann. And the Finns now come back in numbers. Barbio. Richter bounced that off a loose puck, and that bounced in the circle. Drury got it away, but it's not out of the zone. Right in front, the shot comes in. Barbio let that one rip from point-blank range. Richter was there. Drury on the right side. Drury starts it off over the red, tries to bring it into center ice, and Laukinen was too clever for him. Thrown over to the far side now, Burt. Burt spins around. Barbio picks up the puck and puts it over the red line. The Finns now gaining in momentum as this one goes on. Utila. Utila so good at setting these plays up. Put that one right through. Now again, Sidon tapped it through. Back on the attack now. Turcotte lets it ride. Bounces off the backboards, and the Finns started up the other way. Only as far as Hatcher. Hatcher muscles along the boards. Tikkanen. Tikkanen fakes the shot. Let's it go, and Richter is there. That bounce over to the far side, and eventually comes back into the American zone. Some good hits out there, some good shots. This game is starting to boil over here. Both teams are throwing their weight around. Starting to play some good hockey, and this is what everyone anticipated. This is excellent hockey to watch. You can hear the bodies banging off the boards, but this game is certainly wide open. Both teams are going up and down the ice, getting great shots, and really starting to move the puck around nicely. Taking it with a good opportunity on that play. Earlier, the Americans had a great charge up the ice, and Turcotte's blast was just wide of the finish goal. Modano wins the draw and gets it all the way back into USA territory. A lot of support here from for both teams, rather. Beers. Beers put that through. A chance now. Big shot. Ketterer is there. Modano getting the lumber on that one. This guy is tough to beat. Both teams electing to use the long slap shot at the moment. Rebounds are there, but the defensemen are doing a good job of picking up the extra men coming in. They're letting the goalie see the long shot. And as a goaltender, they'll handle them all night as long as they can see them. That's very true. Goalies really don't mind shots from that distance as long as they can see them. Podine goes into the penalty box. Utila picks it up behind his own goal. Interference is the call on Podine. Peltima is brought down in neutralized territory, so that cost Podine two. The shadow out there comes from Ed Olchek. A chance now for the Finns as Sarakoski. Sarakoski trying to throw it over to Rhea Yarby. Rhea Yarby skates backwards to the hash marks. That's pumped across to the far side. The fake shot. Laukinen. Laukinen 
Nicely into Rhea Yarby. Rhea Yarby setting it up, putting it back behind the red line. Back to Rhea Yarby. Sarakoski skating out there. Veers doing some work, trying to get his stick in. Play slowing right down. Big shot from way out. Wait. Could only get it as far as the blue line, and eventually it's tapped away. And the Finns very adept at setting this one up. Perhaps not enough movement for some people out there. Sally Noya. Sally Noya hits the red line. Slams on the brakes. Eventually gets it up on the wing. And a chance now is... Burt goes back. Burt whistles that along the boards. Can't get it out. And the Americans start now. They've got a chance. A big break for the Americans. A breakaway here. Ketterer goes back. The backhander goes. And that ends up on the side of the net. Turcott. Oh, he had the speed there. Let's look at this again. The odds would have favored Darren Turcott scoring on this play. You could see it happening. He was moving away from where the action was. The pass was nicely fed through to him. He elected to go to the backhand. Ketterer did well to stay with him and got a piece of it. Siren had tried keeping the puck in at the blue line and been caught. The Americans came out quickly. Turcott was on the move and almost had the first goal. It would have been a shorthanded effort for the U.S. Bodine still in the penalty box for interference. And that's shot down to in, into Finnish territory. A chance now for the Finns to regain their composure, bring it out over the blue line, the long clearance in. Going back for it is Hatcher. Hatcher taps that up as far as the blue line, but that's an offside call, a good officiating call there. If you can use that phrase. Offside was the call, and they called it correctly. That's what I'm trying to say. Earlier on today, the Germans lost their cool as they were blown away by the Czechs, everyone blaming the Canadian referee. But uh, the way I saw it, most of the calls he made were done correctly. Well, the German people we talked to seem to agree that the call was made properly and the player did deserve to be ejected. Nevertheless, a lot of debris was thrown onto the ice. If you didn't get a chance to see that game, the, the game is delayed for some considerable time. A chance now for 14. Johnson. Johnson's taken out and tied up by Hamelainen. A wraparound almost comes now. The Americans are back at full strength. Some good forechecking there by the Americans. And Koivu slows things down, takes it back behind his own net. Johnson still forechecking for the Americans. They've successfully killed off the penalty and almost scored a goal in the bargain. Thrown right up, intercepted there by Sacco. Sacco, who's having a good first period. That comes through to number 14, Johnson. And there's going to be a penalty on the play. The Americans will throw the puck around. The Finns touch it, and the whistle blows. The Americans not interested in hanging on to that to pull the goaltender off. There wasn't any question about the call. Americans keeping the puck in the zone. Emma Lanen on the defense, caught flat-footed just for a second. The American was on the break. Johnson starting to move to the goal. The hook was put on him, and now the Americans will have an opportunity for a power play. So power play situation, and the number one man goes in. Modano, Mika Alatalo, hooking is the call. So he sits for two, and Modano and Waits and Amonti take up their positions on the line out there. Modano has moved back onto the D, and in the first game we saw him letting the shots fly from 60 feet out. This guy can motor too, so he'll be moving up front, Madonna shoots it in and it's always dangerous when you've got a forward sitting on the blue line position because he never remembers half the time where he's supposed to be. They have a tendency to wander. Alitalo, given that penalty, I actually called that as Hemelainen as he had his man well hooked up coming off the boards. Oh well, Ref and I both saw a hook, but he got the other guy instead of the one that I called. Amonti, along the right side, the box is set up, the Americans throw it back behind their uh, the red line, Laukinen couldn't get a handle off. The big shot in there from Weinrich, that deflected high. All the way back to Weinrich again. He puts it to the far side, and Madano was coming across into center. Waits came to the rescue. Waits being shattered by Vitakoski, and Weinrich couldn't keep it in. 
Weinrich, a good 360 there to bring it quickly back over the line. Weinrich pumps it over to the near side. A chance now for Amonti as he steps over the red line. Put over the far side to wait. Vitakoski moves in. Some good stuff by Utila, but he still doesn't get it out of the zone. Now at the second attempt, the Finns clear it out. Vitakoski working very hard on this penalty kill situation for the Finns. He's all over the ice, really forcing the defense out by the blue line. The Americans are going to have to work the puck down low. Koivu put a big hit on McDonald just after he released the puck. Amonti is there, dropping it back for Turcott, and he fell, just couldn't get the stick on it. The Finns now with a good opportunity. Koivu moves down on the left side, dropped that back into the middle. The big shot came, and it didn't get as far as Richter. Nicely blocked by Weinrich as he goes to the bench for a change. Three on two. The Finns getting away with one on the Americans. Tikkanen goes for the short side and another great goaltending move out there. This time it's Richter who comes up big. And again, we see the team with the man advantage getting caught out there. Again, the Finns get away with one. Tikkanen stripping the defense, coming in on the goal. Percentages are in his favor once again. Pulls the puck backhand to forehand. Excellent job by Richter. Quite possibly he's seen that one in practice a few times. Ticking in and Richter play on the New York Rangers together. It didn't fool him nevertheless, and the Finns don't have anything out of it. Good move by Richter to stay with Essa Tikkanen, who, as you said, moved from Edmonton to New York Rangers. And wasn't able to put that beyond his teammate back in the NHL. Face off deep in American territory. Darian Hatcher. Hatcher up the middle. Finland are back at full strength. The shot comes in. That bounces off the boards. Podine couldn't get a handle on it. Turcott is there. Turcott along the boards. Niemann doing some good stuff to get it out of the zone. Niemann in there with Alitalo. Turcott still hanging on to that puck. And eventually Niemann comes up with it. Niemann being shadowed by Podine. The Americans have turned their lines around a little out there. Sally Noya threw that one up on the right side. And the Americans getting back in numbers. Niemann now Sally Noya. Sally Noya. The Americans still trying to get it out of the zone. Penalty on the play. A chance for the Americans. A three on two situation. The loose puck is right there. That's batted down right in the crease. And eventually with the arm up and the goalie gone. The whistle blows. The penalty going against Finland. The puck was bouncing like mad. Derek Plant was in front of the net just waiting for it to come his way. He finally reaches out to get it himself. The finish stick just gets in there to deflect it away. Now the puck is still going crazy. Ketterer's got a beat on it and he holds on. Well, shots like that can be a nightmare for a goaltender. They come through the air like a knuckleball, as we've said before. And Ketterer, Ketterer, rather, was equal to the task. Goal scoring leader Varvio in the penalty box for Finland. The Americans with the power play. Modano, who's moved back to the blue line, puts it up on the right side. Wait, gets it back to Modano. Big shot right in front of the goal. Two Americans perfectly positioned. Laukinen trying to get away from Amante. Laukinen taps it forward, trying to get the puck up to Vitakoski. That didn't work, but he got it out of the zone. Modano. Tikkanen shadows. Tikkanen doing what he does best out there. Killing off penalties. Tikkanen stays with his man. Modano gets over the red line, fires it in. Olchik along the boards with Laukinen. Olchik moves in in a hurry. Laukinen picks himself up. Oh, that could have been dangerous. He didn't know that Olchik was right there. That trickled down the ice. Time running out in the first period. Still no score in this one. Take a look at Varvio, but play is continuing out on the ice. Modano with one good move to get around Sarakoski. That's thrown over to the far side. Olchek takes the shot, and that bounces off the backboards. Hapakoski took a swipe at it. And golfs it all the way down the ice. Still the Finns with a man in the penalty box. 
time ticking down on the period. And again, the Finns not allowing the Americans to settle out there. A change of personnel for both teams. Back on the attack, the Americans now. Drury. Drury waits for support. Drury moves in. A nice pass back. And Drury takes up his position in the corner. Turcotte shot that in from close in. Right in there is Drury. And there goes the buzzer. And the Americans continue to apply the pressure out there. But neither team able to come up with a goal. front of the net with Plant right near the end but the Americans ran out of time. Ketterer in the goal for Finland, Richter for the Americans both coming up with big periods. Each of them saw long shots, a couple of breakaways each. They're right into this game and it's a 0-0 score. I think points would have to go in favor of the goaltenders in this competition. From what we've seen they really have been good. Dunham, Richter, Ketterer, Ilonen, Reza, all these guys are shining out there and they're letting the teams know that they don't have to worry about goaltending. All you have to worry about is putting the puck in the net. We've got two periods of ice hockey to go from Dortmund. So stay with us. We're going to take a short break now. You can see confirmation of the scoreline between Finland and USA. We'll be right back with more action in a moment. Back to Dortmund. Paul Ferguson's. The Norwegians, if they come last, will be relegated, but they'll still be in the Olympics. Also in that playoff round will be Great Britain, who won Pool B over in Eindhoven, and Holland went undefeated, along with Latvia, Poland, Japan, and the team that finishes at the bottom here. Well, some guys bring girls to ice hockey matches. This guy's got a friend of his own out there. <laughs> What's he going to do with that? I don't even want to know. <laughs> Maybe we're going to have crocodile sandwiches all around. I'm not going to use that joke about making them snappy, though. No, I wouldn't suggest that. Getting set now for the face-off. The Americans will play from right to left. Still no score in this one as we get set for the second period. As I said, a wide open first period. Both teams had their opportunities. There were breaks there as Olchek now moves in. Olchek fires that all the way back to the blue line. That's tipped right back in. Olchek trying to get that away from Hapakoski. And now Finns are back at full strength. Barbio steps on the ice. Olchek right at this side. Waiting for the puck. Rhea Yarvi goes after his man. That's whipped around to the bottom of the circle. And the Finns happy just to dump it all the way down the ice. Icing is the call. Period starting out quite casually. Varvio didn't even really hustle out of the penalty box. Both teams changing to get fresh bodies on the ice. Good look there at the coach for Finland, Penti Matikainen. 42 years old, been the national coach since 1987. Picked up the silver medal last year in the World Championships. The Finns felt a bit unlucky. They went 7-0 and and walked through their didn't walk through their first seven games, but they certainly played like a team that was on a mission for a gold medal, and then they were soundly beaten by their rivals, the Swedes, 5-2 in the championship game. The Americans, on the other hand, finished a disappointing seventh place, and Tim Taylor isn't going to be happy with that low of a position in this year's games. Come on. The last time the Americans won gold was back in 1960. And the last medal of any kind was a bronze in 63. 60 was Lake Placid. Sorry, 80 was Lake Placid. Let's correct that. But that was an Olympic one. And 63 was Colorado, I think, if I'm getting this right. But the Olympic gold medal, we're not going to count it in this world championship here. Face off deep in Finnish territory. That goes back in behind the line. Laukinen picks it up. Laukinen brings it out down the left side. Laukinen 
tipping that forward. The check comes in from Gojo. Gojo taking Laukinen out of the play. A big hit, or was it a stumble? Hatcher went flying face first. Hatcher picks himself up and throws the puck around onto this side. Finn's keeping it in with the backhander there, intended for Corpusalo. He let that ride. Burt to Hatcher. Tikkanen doing the forechecking for the Finns. Utila moving way up from his blue line position. Taps it over to Peltima. Peltima, Burt. Burt takes him out of the play. Peltima taps it back. Peltima missed the first game. Big shot coming in. Richter, a chance for another shot. Rhea Yarby, Corpusalo were there. And the whistle blows for cross-checking. Corpusalo with a great opportunity in the slot. He had time to get the full windup off, but it was right into the pads of Richter. Play getting tough along the boards. Burt rubbing his man out of the play. That's Peltima, who's very aggressive for the Finns. Darian Hatcher is the man who was guilty of cross-checking on the other side of the net. He'll go to the penalty box, and now the Finns are on the power play. Darian Hatcher, two minutes for cross-checking. From the face-off, Plant couldn't contain that. It comes all the way back. Laukinen fakes the shot. The return pass to Laukinen. Again, he taps it in. Utila starts moving towards the goal. The long pass over. Utila is there, and he couldn't put it in the open corner. Richter got over there just a second late. Vitakoski along the boards had trouble containing that. And a break now. Plant's going down. He's chopped off the play by Rhea Yarvi. And the Finns break quickly. Over the blue, the drop pass. Drury sets it up in front. The loose stick is lying around there. And the Finns set it up with a long shot out by Beers. That goes only as far as the blue line. Waiting out front is Hauer. And the Americans have the box. Vitakoski cruising in front. Rhea Yarvi. Utila again breaks towards the net. Rhea Yarvi fakes the shot, passes it in. Vic Vitakoski is out front. Rhea Yarvi takes the shot. The rebound comes out. Vitakoski tried to get it on the backhand side. That was a bouncing puck, and it's eventually shot all the way down the ice with that broken stick still lying across the red line. The Finns like to work the puck back to the point for the big shot. They'll have men in front trying to tip it in or screen the goalie or whatever you can have. The Americans are keeping the box out a bit higher now to prevent the big shot. Comes back to Hapakoski. Hapakoski breaks through the middle, tried to pass it over into the corner. That didn't work. Exactly done the right way. The puck went to the high point in the umbrella. The player started to skate through. The Americans quickly closed it right in and gave Hapakoski nowhere to go. Siren to Varvio and he lets the shot go and Richter comes up big again. You've got to like Varvio, the leading goal scorer for the Finns last year, the leading goal scorer in the games. 20-year-old kid who's really got a bullet for a slap shot. Does he ever get this one off? Richter taking a look into his glove to make sure it's there, and he's got it. Face-off now in USA territory as they continue to kill off this penalty. Niemann couldn't win the draw on that occasion, and the Americans will get it out of the zone as that comes into neutralized territory. The Finns bring in it right back in. Varvio. Varvio going up against Weinrich. Weinrich and Varvio square off. Golfed away by Waite. That comes back to the blue line. Siren keeps it in. USA back at full strength and the Americans now with a golden opportunity. Sally Noya got his stick in there nicely. Burt picks it up. A chance now for the big defense and throws it over to Waite. Waite tries to stick handle his way through the circle and just couldn't get it away. Amonti neatly passed it over onto the right side. The return pass into Waite. Back to Amonti. Amonti right in front. Waite is there. How did he not get that one? Great play. Good giving goes from Amonti and Waite. Waite very unlucky not to put that one in. Varvio let the shot go from a distance and Richter was beaten. 
something out of nothing at the other end. We thought the Americans were going to pop one in, and Barrio turns it right around immediately. Let's go the shot and puts it beyond the American goaltender. Right from the blue line, Barrio lets it go. We just got done talking about the shot this guy has. Richter can't get enough of it. Just a piece, and it's behind him for goal number one. Barrio coming up to the blue line. It's a one on three. It certainly looks harmless. But he gets the shot off, and Richter is handcuffed and can't come up with a save. What was that, Richard? We said about the goaltenders enjoying these long shots. As long as they can see them, they don't mind. Well, I really don't think that... Uh, Richter was screened on that one. Paolo gets it out and back come the Finns. Four guys hit in the blue line. Paolo moves into center. The shot comes in. Richter steers it away. The loose puck at the side. Alitalo takes a swipe at it. And the Americans having to get back in numbers. Hamelainen tapped it back over the red line. Koivu fed it through to Alitalo. Paolo now. Paolo being pushed and shoved but still hangs on to the puck. Paolo with Koivu. And picked up now by Modano. Modano gets it forward, looking for Turcotte. Modano a chance, lets the shot go, the tip is there. And the loose puck is out front, and they can't get the shot away. Ketterer went down, and that's going to be a penalty. Koivu is dumped right in front, and Paolo went down. No whistle on the play yet, wait until the Americans touch the puck. All the way back to the blue line, Utila, Koivu. Well, how many times do the Americans have to touch the puck before that whistle blows? Tripping should be the call on this play. Let's look at this again. Koivu, who's so quick, breaks away in the neutral zone. He's pulled down on the play. A bit of a dive, sort of pulled down. Call it what you like. The referee's arm goes in the air. Then he elects to wait about a day and a half to blow the whistle. Richter had made one save. Modano had done everything except mail the puck home to his parents. He'd stick handled with it a few times. Then the whistle finally went. Paolo on his knees gets the first shot off. Richter's got the pads together and denies him. The play continued on. Finally, the whistle blew, and Adam Burke makes his way to the penalty box. for hooking on that occasion. Either way you look at it, Koivu was brought down. His progress was impeded as that goes in the corner and floats around the boards. The Finns with Vitakoski. Vitakoski. Utila. Utila waltzes along the blue line, gives it back to Vitakoski. Vitakoski, the top of the circle, lines up, takes a shot. Weinrich, what is he doing out there? He slid in front of that. Must have got it right on the back and only a defenseman could do that Weinwick with a bit of a kamikaze move they must have those shorts pulled up pretty high or else he'd still be laying on the ice either that or he's got a long helmet now how many sets of ribs he's got but he certainly took that shot what looked like to be in the middle of the back boy that's old time hockey out there just what playoff hockey is all about. The Americans with a great opportunity at one end. The Finns come down the ice and score. The second time the Americans have a superb chance to get a goal for themselves. They miss and then a penalty is called and they're shorthanded now. Face off just inside the American blue line. That puck was held on the blue line by Siren and shot in. Hatcher, Neiman goes after him. Hatcher gets it out cleverly and the Americans now with a break. A chance going down on the right side. Eventually, the whistle blows. Well, you can hear the yelling and screaming from the American bench. Play called as an icing. It's a bit hard to call icing when the team is shorthanded. Matt Kanan making his way along the bench, still giving instructions to the, the players there. The face-off in the American zone and going after it is Podine. Podine shadows as that comes up to Sally Noya. Sally Noya gets it forward. Barbio. Barbio misses a check, gives it to Neiman and that comes out front and eventually tapped back in. Sally Noya was waiting for it and that goes down to Ketterer's doorstep. Ketterer quickly shoots it up and it's deflected. The Americans now setting it up. Close in the shot. 
Coming out there is Podine. Podine taken off the plate. A chance now for Burt, or, or uh, Turcott rather. Play slowing down as the Finns change on the fly. Turcott goes after his man. That's given over to Tikkanen. Tikkanen moves down on the right side, gets it right in the center. The shot comes in. And a lot of Americans out there playing goaltender. Weinrich starting to go for a touchdown with that puck. He gloved it, carried it for a while. The whistle blowing. Going back to what happened a couple of seconds ago, Turcott at the other end of the ice blasted that one timer just over the goal. That's twice in shorthanded situations that he's had a close call. He's so dangerous on the penalty kill. Podine fed him and he missed that one. In the first period, he had a breakaway when they were penalty killing and nearly put that puck in the net. The Finns can't relax just because they've got the man advantage. They're going to do that one again as the linesmen move in quickly to separate Alatalo and wait. Richter has seen it all before. I think he'd like to have another stab at that shot from Varvio though. Face off now in the American zone. Tikkanen gets it back. Hamelainen lets the shot go. Richter well out of his cage. And that's exactly where a goaltender is supposed to be. Get out so you can see things. Cut down the angle. Look at this. Way out above his crease. Hamelainen can shoot all day from there. But then we said that earlier on and Barbio scored. But he saw that one all the way. Richter did an excellent job of controlling the rebound to make sure that nothing else was going to happen. Weinrich gets it up quickly. The long pass is touched by Ketterer. Harilla quickly out of the zone. Big hit there on the blue line. That's going to be a penalty. Well, I'd like to see that one again. The Finns pull their goaltender. Start moving it up. They have the man advantage out there. Still the whistle doesn't blow. Weinrich goes in now, puts a heavy check on the boards. And eventually the whistle blows. Elbowing is the call. Doug Waite right at the blue line. Gets the elbow up right into the visor. Of the Finnish player coming out of the zone right at the blue line. Looked like Quovio going for a spin. The Americans are going to be shorthanded again. They've got to stay out of the penalty box. Weinrich trying to convince the referee that his arm wasn't up as high as he thought it was. And to be honest, from the replay, it didn't look that dangerous to me. Doug Waits is trying to explain. He's saying, what do I got to do? Put my elbows on the ground? I don't know. I have a tendency to agree with him on that one. But what I say out there doesn't really matter. He's sitting in the box for two minutes. And the Americans were going to be a man down. They trail it. 1-0 in the second period. This one is live on Eurosport from Dortmund. The Swiss are playing the Italians after 20 minutes of play. There's no score there. Utila lets the shot go. Richter sets himself up. Vitakoski is there from the short side. And Vitakoski moving right around. Sacco got it as far as the blue line. And the Americans set up the box. Rhea Yarvi moves into the hash marks and gets the pass. You can see Utila giving directions to Rhea Yarvi, telling him to pass it to Laukinen. Rhea Yarvi moving back and forth. Laukinen goes along the blue line. Utila moved right into position and then goes back to the top of the circle. Utila is the danger man out there. This is the guy who can shoot and can move. They like to go to him down the right side. Americans now will take this opportunity with Burt to shoot it out of the zone. Podine goes after his man, but that's dumped all the way in by Laukinen. Comes over to the near side. Sarakoski forms a pick. Burt giving Vitakoski a rough time along the boards. Sacco waiting for the puck to come his way. 
Sarakoski trying to give give and go out there. Vitakoski back to Utila, back to Vitakoski at the top of the circle. Vitakoski lucky to get away with that. Vitakoski taking his time. Utila back to Vitakoski. The Americans will let them play out there all day long. They're trying to kill off this penalty to wait for elbowing. Vitakoski, no movement from the Finns. That comes right in front. A chance for Ria Yarby. And Burt picks it up at the bottom of the circle and taps it, taps it leisurely down the ice and goes for a change. Ria Yarby with a close call. He's been very quiet. Another great goal scorer for the Finns. Hasn't done much so far in this game. Neimanen moves right in front. The bouncing puck is there. Varvio was waiting for sight of that black little disc, but that didn't happen, and the whistle blows. Americans with their sticks on the ice and really rotating the box around quite smoothly, doing a good job of keeping the Finns to the outside. The only opportunity they got was when the puck was directed to the goal by Utila, and then as the rebound laid there, a backhand chance for Rhea Yarvi, but he was quickly smothered out of the play. Less than 10 seconds on the penalty. The Americans go flat all the way down the ice, so that'll be it. Sidon goes deep. So the Americans back at full strength. Wait. That comes up to Tikkanen. Big shot. Tikkanen really can let him fly. Wait pushes that along the boards and then gives Tikkanen a, a little poke. Turcott goes after his man. Modano. Modano at the second attempt almost broke through. That's pushed over to the far side. And getting in there quickly is number two, Robert Beers. A loose puck dribbles all the way down into the American zone. And now a chance for the Americans as they come up with number four, Weinrich. That's tapped in, banged off the net from the side. Right out front and Modano couldn't get a clear shot at goal. Some good stuff here from Hapakoski as he eventually gives it to Niemannen. Niemannen tried to get it out front and Beers slid across, hanging on to that puck. Good defensive move by Robert Beers. Tampa Bay player, still only 26 years old. Beers going into the boards quite heavily. Had to climatize himself probably to come to Germany, Germany to play hockey after being in Tampa, Florida all season. He doesn't look like he's got much of a tan. Can you imagine going up to somewhere like Winnipeg in the middle of January after being on the beach in Tampa Bay? So I don't think I'll go on this road trip, boss. I just think I'll stay here and nurse my golfing game. Back to reality here. The Americans now starting it up. Amonte. Amonte down on the right side. Drops it back to Wait. Trying to go back to Amonte. Ketter got a touch on that. Olchek. Olchek looking to get it back. That comes back to number seven. Moran, who hasn't seen a lot of action out there. The Americans starting to throw on a couple of youngsters. Amonte. Amonte's got a head of steam. Amonte going up against Herrilli. A high stick up there by Herrilli. And play continues as Amonte was crashed into the boards. The Finns. Back on the attack, Hamelainen works his way over the blue line, lets the easy shot go for Richter. Moran takes his man out of the play. Richards, who in turn hasn't seen a lot of action, gives that to Hamelainen. His shot is through the crease, but not near the goal. That's tapped right back in. Alatalo. Alatalo working back and forth, ducking and diving behind the net. Olchek tries to stay on him. That comes out front, and Wade is there. That took a deflection, bounces right back. Richards picks it up. Richards takes a hit from Alitalo. Weight goes in after Paolo. All the way out to Utila. Utila has a chance. Richter's there and makes the save. Utila taps Richter to say, well done. You've got to like this guy, Utila. 29-year-old captain of the Finnish team. Plays defense so well, but he is so quick to go forward. He loves getting involved in the offense. Takes a wrist shot toward Richter, right into the bread basket, as they call it. The putt goes down. Richter sees it all the way. Utila comes in, gives him a little tap, and then compliments him for making the save. Great guy with a lot of heart for this Finnish team. One of the many mobile defensemen the Finns have out there being told to leave the circle 
Johnson goes in and does the honors, gets it back. Peltima taking his man out of the play, and the Americans struggle to get it out of their zone again. Hatcher, Burt, Peltima all move in, and eventually we have a whistle, and we're going to have another faceoff. Scoreline is still one to nil with the Finns leading this with a goal from Varvio on that long shot here in the second period. Varvio last year, joint leading goal scorer in the World Games with nine goals and one assist for ten points. Certainly hasn't slowed up in a year. He's not likely to at his age. Guy's a good hockey player. He came out of nowhere last year. The Finns heard about him, but not too many other people. 12-12 gone now in the period. The Americans in the neutral zone will have to chase again. Hatcher, Hatcher gets it up to number 14. Johnson, Johnson drives that to the far side from the top of the circle. That ricochets off the backboards, and the Americans now set it up. Burt comes in heavily, taken out of the play, but kept the puck in. Drury had that whistle over a stick, but only far as far as Hatcher. Johnson, the American college line, working hard out there. Burt saw that go by him. Corpusalo shot it down the ice, and both teams again want to get a change. Drury goes to the boards. Gojo jumps on the ice, and once again we see the referee getting in the way. Icing is the call. It's not easy being an official out there. You have to watch what's going on, but you have to have eyes in the back of your head to watch out for players coming out of the cool night air. Referee Bukharev has already given Modano a bloody nose in a collision earlier. Tim Taylor studying the playbook. Matt Kanan goes after the stopwatch. He doesn't seem to be using it as much tonight. He still got it in his hand out there. Trying to figure out what he does with that stopwatch. I think he's timing himself. He gets 30 chews for every five seconds on his gum. I don't know how you can time people in a game like this. There's other things to concentrate on. Going in quickly there is Godro, Godro, and Turcotts. That's given off nicely, and the Finns coming back out over the blue. Two Finns, three Finns hitting the blue line. Offside is the call. A breakdown in communications there as everyone went the wrong way. Assistant captain Sarah Koski, very hard-working player, 23 years old. Who's his hockey in Luko? Last year was a good year for the Finns. They picked up the silver. What have they got in store this year? That's batted down at the blue line. Eventually the offside whistle blows and we'll have another faceoff. We're going through a phase here of short spurts of ice hockey. The Americans have picked up two gold, nine silver and three bronze. And they desperately need something. It's been a long time since a medal, 63, as I said earlier on. That was the bronze they got. And uh, they feel this year that they've got a good chance at it. They've got a solid team out there. They're trailing 1-0 to the Finns, who are one of the favorites this year. And they're certainly without a host of their stars from Finland who are currently engaged in playoffs in the NHL. Both teams could use some more NHL help. The shot coming in. Sally Noya. Let that one fly. Sally Noya picks up the puck in the neutral zone and taps it back. The shadow coming from Turcotte. That's batted down. Niemann kicks it out. The Finns, Utila, feeding it up. There's no one there to pick it up. And Weinrich shoots it into Finnish territory. Harilla, quick to get it out. And the Finns now breaking quickly. A chance for Varvio. Varvio takes it wide, tips it into the circle. And Varvio waits for it to come back. Sally Noya is there to help out. And the Americans now, who haven't had anything going for a long time, muscle along the boards. Turcotte, watch that go the other way. Beers stays with his man. That's Varvio taken out of the play. The 
referee lets that one go. A chance now for Madonna, who's brought down in the neutral zone. Varvio. Varvio looking for Koivu. Koivu ahead of the play there, and the Americans now pick it up. The long pass forward to Modano. That was nice. Modano tees it up, takes the shot. Kidder is there. Good shot from Modano, but Ketterer right where he should be. Quick release from Modano. The puck is going toward Ketterer. Keeps his body right in front of the puck. Watches the rebound, takes a look around and sees that he can't play the puck and just holds on for a faceoff. Faceoff now in Finnish territory. Waits goes into the faceoff circle for the Americans. Koivu is being told to get out. Niemann takes over and Waite goes in. Waite picks up the puck. Waite taken out of the play by Alatalo. Alatalo and Waite both exciting players. That just missed the near side. Amonti looking for the wraparound. One swipe, two swipes. Ketter is there. Laukinen is there. That comes all the way back to the blue line. A shot from inside the circle. Olchik is there. The loose puck. Waite takes a swipe at it. Bodies flying all over the place. Amonti reaches over and takes a poke. Amonti giving a good shot as he was down after the play. I'm sure he's got some phone numbers and a couple of jersey numbers on that one. Paolo giving a few shots. He's motioning to the referee that he was slashed and cross-checked. Great opportunity for the Americans. A lot of that created by the work of Tony Amonti. He's a good-sized guy who is really quick. He really buzzes around the net and makes things happen. Ed Olchek involved. Doug Waite was tied up and unable to get a stick on the puck as it laid there in front of Ketterer. The backhander from Olchek. Waite is at the side of the net, well taken out of the play. He can't get across the ice to get it. Ketterer dives over to make the save. Amonti slides in with his stick to try and get a touch. That's when he receives a bit of a cheap shot and everything escalates from there. Excellent job by Utila to take Doug Waite out of the play, doing anything he has to do just to keep the man from getting his stick on the puck. Olchek thinks he's open, but he's not. Ketterer can hang on to it. And he does. Utila, you can see the reaction there from Waite as he skates over the red line backwards. He says, hey, this guy was holding me. Utila, number five, holding me in the crease. And eventually... The penalty is called. A look at Captain Utila sitting in the penalty box now. He pretty well molested Doug Waite in the front of the at the front of the goal. As you said, Richard, you got to do what you got to do out there in a situation like that. No holds barred. The faceoff comes out into neutralized territory because the defenseman for the American side had gone and gotten involved in the play. The referee bringing the puck outside the blue line. Weinrich on this side. And that comes nicely to the Finns. A chance now for Tikkanen. High over the glove hand. Amonti bangs it off the backboards. Amonti throws it up to Waite. Waite still out there. Flips it over onto the left wing. The American Weinrich brings it in. Weinrich up against Hapakoski. Amonti goes in to help out. Weinrich is there. Weinrich Koivu still kept in the zone and eventually it trickles out into neutralized territory and the Americans unable to set it up in Finnish territory. Weinrich got the stick up high as the check came in. The Finns throwing the checks out there. A chance now to look at Madano. Madano shakes off one slash, throws that in deep. And we'll have another face off. Both teams really having a go at each other. And you can see what happens when you carry the puck. There's a lot of slashing that is going undetected out there. It's all part of the game, of course. And it's the kind of thing you have to put up with. You can hear the hacking and whacking all the way up in the end. Blues of the rink here. And Blues referring to what they call the seats up in the clouds at the Montreal Forum, in case people don't realize that. I apologize for that. Rattled off the boards all the way down. Richter 
Watches that bounce out front. Beers picks it up. Still a power play situation with Utila sitting in the box for holding. Give it off to Hatcher. Hatcher moves nicely along against Hamelainen. 32 seconds on the penalty. Hamelainen collects that. Hamelainen a good little move to get himself free and he shoots it down the ice. Richter comes out to touch the puck. Another broken stick, meaning another slash somebody's received. Players are really having to go at each other. It's starting to get a bit chippy. The referee's going to have to get good control of this game or it could get out of hand. Podine collects a new stick and also makes his way to the penalty box. It's nice to see that he broke a wooden stick on a player, not an aluminum one. Slashing the call as you predicted. Telltale sign out there with a broken stick. And someone trying to glue their back together. Tim Taylor is still pacing, still trying to put a formula together to get his team on the scoreboard. We're still in the second period. Turcott loses out. That comes back. Hapakoski takes the shot. That's under the goaltender. Four on four. Hapakoski getting the shot away. Slight lack of discipline by the Americans. Having a power play opportunity in the opposing team zone, taking a slashing penalty. And now with the sides even, the Finns applying pressure on the American goal. From the face-off now, Sarakoski trying to kick it through. Vitakoski moves his way. Vitakoski tried to bring it out front. He has a chance, spins around, takes a shot. That hammered off the backboards. Vitakoski doing a great job out there. And the Americans dropping it deep, looking to get something going with Burt. Burt flips it over to the far side. The Finns are back at full strength. The give there is to Godro. Godro takes the high shot on Ketterer. And Ketterer blows that down. I'm sure the last thing the Finns wanted is a face-off in their zone with a power play out there. But Ketterer felt he had nowhere to go with that puck. Doing the smart thing. A lot of people moving away from the action defenseman tying people up he just held on Sacco against Niemann neither team settling down on these face-offs right away a lot of support here for both teams but I think it's fair to say the Finns outnumber the Americans for obvious reasons. Well, as I said in the game between the Czechs and the Germans, it's also the job of the linesmen to clean up the mess out on the rink. On this occasion, there's a little groove or nick in the ice, which could be dangerous, so they tap it up with snow, put a little water on it, and rub the puck over it. So now you know how it's done. That's not how you make a complete ice rink, of course. Just a little hole from time to time is patched up that way. My father did that a few times in the backyard, though. <laughs> like, I believe it. It took him three years to build the rink with that one puck. Every time the spring came, the snow just melted and he started again in December. It's really hard on the knees and back. That goes all the way back into American territory. Weinrich gets back in a hurry. Tikkanen goes after Weinrich. Three-man collision there with Beers, and the Finns come up with a puck. That's what the fans have paid to see. 100% effort from both teams. Sidon takes the shot. Tikkanen took a swipe at that as it bounces away. Sidon is back on the blue. He's got the big shot and a chance now for the American Drury. Drury slows it down, throws it out front. The pass there to Sacco wasn't connected. And back come the Finns. A long pass. Sidon took the shot. Another one comes in, and that took a rebound. And the Americans falling, get it out of the zone. Eddie Olchek out there doing the checking for 
The Americans, Tikkanen took the shot, and they're taking some wicked bounces out there off the rebound. Beers took a swipe with that to get it out of the zone. 21 Sacco falls, and eventually it's tipped out into neutralized territory. Tikkanen brings it over the blue. A chance now for the Finns. They set it up again. Olchik goes after his man all the way back to Hapakoski. Hapakoski delivers it over to Utila. That goes high. Tikkanen takes a jab right in front. Beers has words and a mean look at Tikkanen. They're going after him tonight, that's for sure. He's seen it all before, though, at Edmonton and now with the Rangers. Certainly not the first time he's been hit around the front of the goal. Everybody wants to be a celebrity. The time the cameras move in the direction of the spectators, they're on their feet. Podine still sitting in the penalty box for the USA. Face off deep in American territory. That comes back to Utila. Utila fakes the shot, feeds it over to the far side. Laukinen let that one fly, comes back to Utila. Utila gently taps it off the boards. The Americans back at full strength. The chance now for USA as they break up the ice. Three players hitting the blue line. Hatcher taken out of the play, but not before he gets it up. Olchek had a chance there. Olchek tried to wrap it around and ran out of places to go. The give back to number five, Hauer, wasn't complete. A delayed penalty on the play as that comes down the ice. The whistle blows. The goaltender Richter came out because it's going against the Finns. So as soon as the Finns touch it, the whistle would blow. Holding is the call on defenseman Laukinen. Laukinen gets a lot of ice time. 23-year-old is out there for all the penalty killing situations normally and has his hand in some of the power play chances as well. Very solid defenseman, but this also gives the Americans now a chance to try and level the score. The Americans with the man advantage now will look to level this score. Varvio has been the only goal scorer so far in this game. He took the long shot. Richter, well, did he fan on it? Did he just misjudge it? Couldn't he hold it? Maybe it was too hard. I don't know. We'll have to ask him after the game. That was number one and the only one. The Finns are leading it here in the second period. Hatcher being forced back to the blue line. Elects to go along the boards to Amonti. Hamelainen roughed up Amonti going in quickly. Plant couldn't do anything and a chance now for Tikkanen. Tikkanen waiting for support. Tikkanen moving right in front. The loose puck is there. Oh, that was so close. Right on the post with Richter backing up. Modano tees it up, takes a big shot. And the puck out there whistling all over the rink as these boys let the puck fly. Modano gathers it. Modano having problems in the fins are putting a lot of pressure on the Americans despite having a man down. Turcotte, or um, Hatcher fed that through. Hatcher stands in front of the net. This guy is going to be tough to knock out of the way. He's six foot five. Hatcher now races back, but the whistle blows to end the second period, and what a period it was. We take a look at the action now just before the whistle. Good stuff as Tikkanen tries to cut in on the short side. Starts to lose the puck and that made it that much more dangerous for Richter as he was going down. Modano manages to get the puck out of danger. The only goal scored in the period by Varvio. It's 1-0 after two. Another look at this one. We'll see how close it was. Right by the post. And Richter for a moment must have panicked as he saw that coming towards him. Well, this is building for a really good and exciting final period. After 40 minutes of play, there's the score line. The Finns are leading it 1-0 with the only goal coming off of Barbio's stick. But still lots of hockey to come. And here with Richard Beaupre, we're taking a look at that goal scored in the second period as we wait for the teams to come out for the third period. Varvio letting it fly. Well, was that an accident or was it just too hot to handle? 
Not quite sure what to make of that. It was a good shot. Richter appeared to have a good sight line on it. Just got a piece of it and managed to get by him. He's only human at his best, and I'm sure he'd like to have another chance at it, but he isn't going to have it. The Americans have got to pull one back for him. Well, we mentioned earlier that penalties could be the difference in this one. We'll see what happens in the third period. They've played a major part in one or two of the games so far in the competition. And it'll be interesting to see how Tim Taylor plays against the Finns in this third and final period. They really have had their moments. The Finns have had some excellent chances too, and as we've said so many times, the goaltenders have come up big when called upon. The face off at center now. The Americans will play from left to right. Here we go. Weinrich slows it down and gets another stick. Niemann gets set for the faceoff. He always looks like he's totally composed. Back to Beers. Beers will start it up for the Americans. Beers dumps it all the way in. That goes over the line. Interesting to see what the Americans can do with this power play situation. Neiman is still out there as that's delivered over to the far corner. And the Americans now really have to throw their game together. Neiman goes back on the defense, coming up quickly as Weinrich. He hits the red line, throws it in, chasing there as Modano. Over onto the far side, it's Gojo. Gojo couldn't slow it down, and Tikkanen got a piece of it, as he's done so many times in this game, and puts it down the ice. The Americans quickly back on the attack. Beers throws it up. Modano picks it up now. Modano loses it once, picks it up. Now goes right in. Modano, a chance. The loose puck is right there. And Gojo spun around, got back. Modano, Modano got it up from Turcotte. Modano back to Turcotte. Back to Modano. Modano tips it over the blue line. And the Americans with problems setting it up in the finish zone. Claw shot close in. Turcotte was there, but so was Ketterer shooting right at the goaltender. Turcotte having a rough time. He's had three or four good chances in this game and just can't bury one. Earlier, Modano did a lot of work getting around the defense and fed one out to him that just didn't come off. This time he's got a quick snapshot of his own, but it's right at Ketterer, and he plays it off the chest protector and holds on. Still a power play situation out there for the USA. The Finns deep in their own zone as Olchik gets set for the faceoff. Sarakoski tried to tip it through, and the Americans dump it back. Burt throws it back in as the Finns come back to full strength here in the third period. It's all even now. Out on the ice anyway on the scoreboard. The Finns are leading by one. Some good interception there by Amonti. Long shot coming in from Olchik. And that's tipped in. Amonti and Olchik working well throughout this game. Can they put the Americans on the scoreboard? Amonti didn't like what he felt around his neck there. And around his face, he's having words with the official, but he doesn't want to hear it. I'm sure he can't understand him anyways. Monty not liking the way he's being roughed up, but he gives it as well. Ketterer taking another quick drink on that water bottle up on his net. Team's getting set for the faceoff. Tikkanen from the faceoff has to go back on the defense as Utila flips it high in the lights and that trickles all the way down over the blue line. That goes the distance. Burt is back there being chased by Peltima and icing is the call. So we'll have a faceoff back in finished territory. A lot of pressure on the centers on the faceoffs when they're deep in your own defensive zone. 
The positional play of the other four people is so critical as well. We've seen goals scored right off face-offs in a 1-0 game. Neither team wants to give up something silly like that. Hatcher takes the shot. Olchek with position right in front of the crease. And Corpusala brings it out. Corpusala to Peltima. Peltima taps it through. Richter is there. Richter hammers that off the boards. And the Americans colliding, but bringing it out of the zone. Peltima puts the stick out, and he's sidestepped by Burt. Burt fires it in. Ketter is out there to slow it down, but the Americans pick it up. Tikkanen goes after his man. Olchik moves in front. The Americans perhaps taking a little too long on the play. Laukinen was there, along with a fistful of others, to slow down the Americans as the Finns dump it down the ice yet again to take the pressure off. Monty and Waite still putting a lot of pressure on. The Finns actually looking a little bit flat and unorganized, taking their time between line changes. Mati Kanan having a good word with the players as they're coming off the ice, trying to make sure that mentally they're still into this game. They've only got the narrowest of leads, 1-0 at the moment. Drury, Moran, the college kids out there for the Americans. A chance now for Johnson. Johnson loses it in the corner. Moving up quickly is Plant. It's all youngsters out there. The Finns coming back with Koivo. Koivo tees it up. Take the shot. The rebound's right in front. And Paulo took a swipe at it but couldn't get it in. Coming back on the attack. Johnson. Johnson right in front. That goes right into the goal. Drury went in there. The puck went in there. The goaltender went in there. Hapakowski was in there. I don't think the guy selling hot dogs was there. He's about the only one. Good action as Johnson with a heads-up pass across. He's directing it toward the goal. Drury is on the move. Nicely taken out of the play by Hapakowski. There's nothing wrong with that. Ketterer knows where the puck is, but he has no control over the fact that he's going over the red line as well as the two players coming into him. Faceoff will be deep in Finnish territory. Matt DeCanin still not happy with what he sees out there. Let's take a look at it from upstairs. Good action from both teams. That kid line for the Americans out there playing against Koivu, Tikkanen, and Paolo. Good goal scoring line for the Finns. Well, they're definitely holding their own as Hamelainen looks to get around Madano. Hamelainen feeds it up to Neiman, and Neiman taps it up on the right. Richter kicks it out over to the hash marks on the near side. Burt couldn't get along with Beers and Neiman. Sally Noya was positioned out front for about a day and a half, but the puck didn't come his way. Now it's the Americans who take the opportunity to shoot it down the ice, and the icing whistle blows. Neither team want to give anything away here in the third period. 1-0 is the score. If you just joined us, the Finns are leading the Americans. And yet again, another excellent game coming from the World Ice Hockey Championships in Germany. This one is being played in Dortmund, and it's live on Eurosport. For the next couple of weeks, we'll be live on Eurosport during the day and at evening. Sometimes we're replaying the game, so loose puck in front. Wait picks it up, so keep an eye on your TV listings. We'll try to tell you when they're coming up. Going down on the right side, Amonti slams on the brakes. Amonti gets it back. Burt took the shot, and that's blocked, knocked out of the zone, and the Americans will have to go back. Hatcher. Hatcher up on the right side. The Americans, one or two good passes. And Bird is brought down right in front of the penalty box. Everybody on the ice yelling for the penalty call. Peltima still playing with the puck, showing some of his stuff. Things he likes to do in practice, apparently. Bert makes his way to the penalty box, getting some congratulations from his teammates. Bert actually making his way to the bench. Oh, I apologize. I meant the bench. <laughs> it sounded a lot like penalty box to me. Well, it, it <laughs> certainly did. It would be funny if there were 19 players in the penalty box. No, I think there was a team in England just, a, just about had that a, about a week ago. I won't go into that too much because they used to be a great team. I'm sure they'll be back someday. But the referee at the time actually finished the game three or four minutes early because they had too many players in the penalty box and not enough guys to carry on the game. But we won't carry on with that one. Utila goes in the penalty box for a couple of minutes. 
Power play now for the Americans here in the third period. Very uncharacteristic for Utila, who's the leader of this team, taking four minutes in penalties. That's going to be costly. Matty Kanan shaking his head on the bench, not happy with that at all. Utila hooking Burt on the original play, then out of frustration, taking two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct as well. Richter trying to keep himself active out there, moving around back and forth roughing up his crease, playing with the water bottle. The Americans now in the finish zone. That bobbles out and the Americans will have to go back for it. Beers goes into the corner. Everyone back for the Americans. What are they going to do? They've got the man advantage out there. The long shot in and going in quickly. The Americans with Olchek out front. That comes back as far as the blue line. Passed over to Beers. Beers off the boards. Pumpers it right in the tip from Olchek. Wait was right there. Amonti puts it back to the blue line. Amonti back to the blue line again. Weinrich takes his night score! Power play goal! Weinrich set it up from way back at the blue. Wait, Beers and Co. celebrate. Weinrich moves in. Amonti gets a tap on the back of the head. Olchik was in front. Let's look at this again. Play directed back to the blue line. A big shot coming from the point. The tip is right in front. Ketterer just can't handle the change of direction. Bodies in front. The Finns appear to have the Americans covered. But the tip is just there, and it's enough to score the first goal for the USA. Big shot taken from Eric Weinrich results in the Ed Olchek goal. And the Gojo flips it over. Hatcher moving into center. The bouncing puck goes up and it's gloved down by Ketterer. Still pressure coming from the Americans. Amante also getting credit for an assist on that. He threw it back from the hash marks. 1-1 the score. Slight breakdowns in discipline have cost a few times already to various teams. The Germans losing their composure. They paid the price. Now we see a veteran like Utila sitting in the box for four minutes, watching the Americans score one goal, and now still with an opportunity to take the lead with the power play. Modano circles. Modano completely in control out there. Modano along the boards, taps it into the circle. Godro can't hang on to it. That goes along the boards to... Gojo, Gojo taken out of the play by Hamelainen, and Turcotte tried to do something in the far corner. Shot all the way down, Richter will come out and get a touch on that. Burt will want to move this quickly back up the ice. 1-1 one, one the score in the third and final period of this World Championship game. Modano put it over to the far side. A lot of people calling for an offside on the play. Hatcher squeezed it in. Hatcher moves back. Modano is right in front. Takes a wrist shot. A great save by Ketterer. How did he grab that one? Good reflexes by Ketterer. Modano wide open. A left-hand shot being on the right side. Elected to just hold it and take the wrist shot. Thought he had his corner pick, but Ketterer got the big catching glove on the puck. 51 seconds left in the penalty to Utila. Modano getting all of this one. Ketterer getting the catching glove on it and then holding on. Top of the circle, Beers lets the shot go. The rebound is right there. And cleared away, and the Americans with weight going deep. Tikkanen checks. Beers picks up the bouncing puck. Beers feeds it up through the eye of the needle. That deflects, goes all the way down the ice. No icing call. That was tipped. Hapakoski picks it up, bangs it off the boards, and Beers brings it in. Beers calling for it out front. Monty couldn't get a handle on it. And Utila getting ready to step back on the ice. Beers feeds it over to Weinrich. Weinrich fires it back into the corner. 
This is a tie game out there. Olchik scoring on a power play. Varvio in the second period. 1-1. Koivu steps back off the ice. Weinrich picks it up. Utila steps on the ice. The Finns are back at full strength. The pass over onto an open wing and the Finns will get it out of the zone as Waite chases that one. Weinrich up on the boards. Hamelainen tried to get that. Some good moves over there by the Americans. Waite going after it is Johnson. Johnson moves into the circle and he's taken out of the plate. A chance for Niemannen. Niemannen now has got a lot of moves out there. Niemannen still in the circle, still in possession. Goes up against Weinrich, who's had a really solid game out there. Leaves it for Johnson. Johnson taps it forward. Wait. Wait tips it all the way back. Hauer. Hauer picking up ahead of Steen. Throws it up onto the wing, and the Americans dropping everybody over the line. Some good stuff from the Americans. The shot comes in. That's beside the net. Going after it is Johnson. Godro moved in. Sacco was there too. Hamelainen along the boards. Hamelainen looking for somewhere to go. Starts to come over onto the left side. Hamelainen hits the top of the circle and throws it high into the air just over the blue line. Picked up by Richter. Barry Richter feeds it up nicely onto the left wing. The Americans going in nicely as Sacco. Sacco spun out of the play. The loose pick puck is picked up as Podine was squeezed out into the far corner. The Finns not looking as sharp as they were a moment ago. That goal has given the Americans heart. Sacco. Sacco has got Drury. Drury falls in front. The loose puck is right there. Still not away. Podine camps out front. The pass doesn't come from Burt. Burt, the big defenseman, finds himself into the corner trying to kick it free. Unfamiliar territory for the big guy. Vitakoski muscles against him. That pass was an aimless one, intercepted easily by the Finns. They bring it out and happy just to shoot it out of the zone to the far blue line. Both teams going for a change out there. Non-stop action here in the third period. Both teams realizing that defensively they've got to cover their men. Peltima took the shot there. Hatcher deflected almost into his own net. I just started to say about covering their men. Riavari doing a good job of back-checking for the Finns. And then Tikkanen was all alone going in on the American goal. A chance now for number 14. Some good stuff there from Corpusalo. Richter came up big. Corpusalo broke in a two-on-one situation. Decided to go for the shot. Weinrich on the far side. Can't get to it first. Hauer has to skate over to this side. Some interference from the Americans as Peltima hammers his man into the boards. The pace picking up here in the third period. Hatcher goes after his man as that is deflected high and down the ice. Hamelainen deflects it off the boards and the Finns go for a change as do the Americans. The changes will get quicker and quicker as this third period wears on. Paolo, some good stuff from him, helps to set up Koivu. Koivu just couldn't get his feet there and his uh, positioning right. Some good stuff from the Finns. But close in, Richter is there. Number 15, Alatalo was setting the whole thing up from behind the goal, directing traffic just like a conductor out there. Tim Taylor will be pulling his hair out on the bench. An American player was going after Alatalo and fell for the little cheeky move where the player throws the puck off the back of the net and back to himself. The body wasn't taken. The big swing was made, and Alatalo was still there waiting to feed somebody coming in. That player being Hemelainen, number four, coming in from his defensive spot. You can't swing circles. You've got to stop and start, especially in your own defensive zone. Koivu from the faceoff gets it back, and now the Finns are having a good go at the Americans here in the third period. Into the near corner, Hauer, Hauer loses his stick, trying to regain his stick and his composure. Koivu behind the net, kicks it away. Still, Hauer has got his stick. That's tapped forward by a glove, and so the whistle will blow. But Hauer doing the only thing he could out there. Unless he picked it up and threw it down the ice, he just tapped it with his glove, but that's not allowed. The whistle blows and we'll have a face-off. Both of the coaches talking it over with the players, sending guys out one at a time to make sure they've got who they want on the ice. And the centers each looking around to make sure the coverage is right for this important face-off in the American zone. Through the circle, that is whistled down. They'll do it again. 
Neiman and Waite having a real struggle on the draw. The Americans moving quite quickly off that drop of the puck from the linesman. Pensy Matsikainen likes to walk in front of the bench. Most coaches prefer to be behind the bench. The most obvious reason is if a puck comes over, you're the first guy to get it, I would have thought. Seriously, though, the, it's easier to direct traffic from behind the bench because you can see all the players and you don't have to turn your back on the rink. That's shot out all the way down the ice. Over the red line, icing is the call, and both teams going for icing calls to take the pressure off. As I said, neither team wants to make a mistake here in the third period. It's one goal apiece. This is live on Eurosport. We hope you're enjoying it. We certainly are. The USA against Finland. We really have seen some exciting games in this competition. The Americans drew the Czechs with one goal apiece in the opening game that they played. And uh, boy, that was wide open just like this one. A lot of fine goaltending and some excellent play from just about everyone on the ice. The Americans now started out from the right-hand corner, coming back on the attack, trying to feed the eye of the needle. A long pass forward intended for Johnson. Just didn't connect, and another icing call. And in Burt, number six on the defense, is very quick. He always has his head up and moves the puck quite nicely out of the American zone. One of the defensemen whose name is not talked about as much as a few of the others that they've got out there, but he certainly is a solid player. Representation from just about every team in Europe here. Hatcher taken out of the play. That is knocked back to the slot area in the American, Americans with Johnson coming down. Johnson slams on the brakes, looking to backhand that through. It's tipped out. Burt muscles along the boards and it's thrown over nicely to Tegan and Tegan and lets the shot go. That takes a wicked bounce over to the far side, cleared away by Plant. And the Americans at the red line. A chance for Hatcher. Hatcher moves in, throws it right out front. Johnson was there, but the pass didn't come his way. All the way back to their own blue line. The Americans getting it out. Peltimer is there. Hamelainen is there. And the puck is touched. And we have another whistle on the plate. Craig Johnson doing a lot of work making his way to the American bench. Former University of Minnesota star. Drafted by St. Louis in 90. so nice to see American fans mixing with Finnish fans out there a lot of us a lot of sports you can't see that we have them separated by wire fences not in hockey all the rough stuff in most instances out on the ice the Americans now behind the red line in the corner Rhea Yarby who has been quiet in this game Rhea Yarby moving along the boards is dispossessed that comes out into the circle it bobbles free going back for it is Weinrich Weinrich taps it forward into the neutral zone the Americans pick it up three guys over the blue line that comes right out front too far for anyone and back come the Finns Utila the big defenseman hits the blue line puts it over on the far coin that's whistled all the way around the boards by Vitakoski picked up on this side eventually dropped off Palo was skating out front looking for the pass and the Americans happy just to flip it high that goes all the way down the ice no icing call it doesn't go the distance Villasiren picks it up Olchik tapped it forward Hapakoski, Hapakoski runs into a check. Amalti is there looking for something. That doesn't happen. And along the voids is Koivu. Koivu is taken out of the play by Richter, and the Americans now go quickly back to pick this one up. 12.32 gone in the period. Four checking there from Paulo Richter in the far corner. The Finns pick it up in the circle, but the Americans get it right back and tap it forward. Amonti coming up on the right side. Amonti tees it up, take the shot. Oh, Ketter got the skate out. Koivu picks it up. 
and Ketterer felt that one. Good save from Marcus Ketterer in the finished goal. Coming back, Alatalo, Alatalo, a good little move. Oh, move the right in front. Niemann takes the shot. How many fins are in front? Richter is there. Makes the save. Alatalo was there. That was a shooting gallery. One, two, three. Now the punches start to fly. Well, Atalo did the noble thing. As soon as he had one whack at the puck, he got right out of the way of Richter because he knew the blue shirts would be coming for him. And then he did take a shot later. What a move he puts on here. Comes right to the front of the goal. Is hooked up a little bit. Looks to try and put one more move on. The stick gets in there from the defenseman. Mike Richter doesn't care what's going on behind him. He's watching the play in front of him. Niemann comes in with a shot. The save is made. There are two finish forwards wide open in front of the net, and the Americans are caught very guilty of looking and watching the play. Big chop there on the goaltender. Second big chop on the goaltender from Alatalo. But did you see Richter on that play maintaining his composure while all around them bodies are flying, sticks are chopping at him. He had the pads together. He was on his feet. He wasn't flopping. He wasn't diving like a beached whale. He was there. He was set square at the shot. It's funny how Paolo was the man further away from the play as the other fin that was open in front of the net. And he's the one that ended up taking the beating. And it was Alitalo who got a couple of shots in at Richter. Two minutes for Rafi and Team Finland. I am about 20. Marco Paolo. Paolo gets a penalty. Two minutes. And Monty is also in there. Three seconds. Niemann taps it back. And things starting to hot out, up out there again. Long shot. Richter got in front of that. Neiman raced in looking for the rebound. That takes a deflection. Good look at Tony Amonte. 22-year-old New York Ranger player. Superstar from the Boston area who's done very well for himself. A young guy with great speed and good size. Paolo in the penalty box with him, 25 years old, very dangerous player. The two of them mixing it up quite nicely in front of the net. Good move by Sarakoski to give it to Siren. That was deflected high. The Italians leading the Swiss 1-0. So a lot of close games being played in this tournament. That's nice to see. No one likes to pay to get into a hockey game and have it turn into a basketball game. In some countries, they have really high scoring games, but over here, they're too well evenly matched. Vitakoski, Weinrich takes him out. Sarakoski is there now. Beers goes up against him. Beers goes after Sarakoski. The stick coming in. As we approach the 14-minute mark, all the way back to the blue, that took a shot, or took a deflection. Siren got a piece of that. Vitakoski from Sarakoski. Vitakoski, the deflection there! That came off of Weinrich and almost went in the back of the net. The Americans now with a break, trying to split the defense. The shot on Ketterer. Madonna going through. Turcott is there now. And the official wants to play on. Get it moving. Beers. Vitakoski takes him out of the play. Turcott is there. The Finns now started up center. The Americans are caught in the zone. Madonna was standing still. A chance now. Varvio let the shot through. A chance to lose puck is there. It's right out front. And the Americans pick it up and start to move down the ice. But the whistle has blown. Once again, you can see how tough it gets in front of the net. Vitakoski kept taking a couple of shots. Sarakoski directs the puck through for him. It gets all the way to Richter. He holds on to it eventually, but it's bouncing around for a while. Vitakoski with a couple of cracks at it. But does he ever get punished for his efforts after the play is ruled, whistled dead? You can see the blue shirt starting to come in. Vitakoski goes down and would really love to have his whole head go inside of his jersey as Beers ends up on top of him and make sure he gives him a couple of shots. Along the boards, Tikkanen and Niemann doing the forechecking for the Finns. 
That goes all the way down to Ketter, Utila. Utila starts it back up in a hurry, being shadowed by Waite. The Finns now having the better of the play. Laukinen fakes the shot, flips it in, and the Finns setting it up. Off the boards, Hatcher goes after Niemannen. Both teams back at full strength. Hatcher delivers that pass away from Niemannen, and the Americans try to get out of their zone. That's about as far as the blue line, and then the Americans break out, going down on goal. Amonti and Hatcher forward. The whistle blowing. Laukinen very slow getting up. Glove, helmet, half of his body went flying. Taken out of the play just inside the blue line. Trainer quickly out on the ice to make sure he's okay. The referee not seeing anything that he wasn't unhappy with, so no penalties were called on the play. Laukinen getting repairs to that left wrist. They don't want to lose this guy. He's a great two-way player out there. He sets up a lot of goals. And defensively, well, he's one of the tops on the Finnish side. The Finns, with their non-stop clapping, are trying to will this Finnish team into a victory. Still a 1-1 game out there with the Finns going up against the Americans. Alatalo got it back to Hamalainen. Hamalainen on the red line, happy just to flip it through. Going in there is Hatcher. Hatcher takes a swipe at it, puts it along the boards. Olchik can't contain it. That comes back into the slot area. A chance. Richter goes down. Koivu was waiting on the far corner. Hamalainen tapped it in. Not a great clearance from him. And now the Americans. White. White going in on the backhand side. White turns around, takes a shot. That took a deflection. It came back to White. Or wait, rather. And Alitalo picks it up. Alitalo feeds it forward to Paolo. Koivu is dropping back. Richter makes the save. And the bouncing puck is picked up by Ed Olchek. Olchek feeds it through. The Americans now with one man forward. That's Amonti. Amonti goes back waiting for a little support. A change of personnel out there for both teams. A long pass through. And the whistle blows as Johnson mixes it up with Villasiren. Villasiren, an old war horse. He's been around. Played for the Finnish team for a number of years. Saw action with Pittsburgh and Minnesota in the NHL. Certainly capable of handling himself. Team's getting set now for this face-off. Taking a bit of time out there. Right on the line, Sarakoski comes through. Plant tried to muscle his way forward. Less than four minutes on the clock. And it could it be that the Americans end up with another tie. Beers over to the far side. The Americans with everyone forward. A chance to drop back. And that's a giveaway. Sarakoski finds Vitakoski. Vitakoski breaks over the red. Hits the blue. The poke check is there. But Rhea Yarvi picks it up. Backhands it in over the edge of the goal. Vitakoski is there to put it behind the goal to Sarakoski. Weinrich hit him. But Sarakoski still came up with the puck. The Finns set it up yet again. That trickles in front of the goal. And the Americans now along the near side. Plant. Plant is trailing, and the Americans go for a, a line change as Drury put it through. Vitakoski brings it out slowly along the boards, takes the big shot over the net, and he goes for a change. Plant on the far side, still out there on the ice. Tikkanen runs interference, slows that one down. Utila leaves it there for Laukinen, who's back on the ice. The Americans now with two men buzzing around the net. Misunderstanding there as that goes over to Corpusalo. Kept in. Laukinen is there. Turcott. And the Americans have to go deep once again as that comes over to Hauer. Hauer leaves it for Modano. Modano has got the speed as he gets away from Tikkanen. Fed up nicely to Turcott. He takes the shot. That's wide of the far post. Turcott so deadly on that wing fed all the way deep into the corner. Hauer will have to go back. He pumps it over to the far side and the time is ticking down. Both teams hearing the two-minute announcement out there. 
The Americans coming up on the right-hand side. Modano, Modano over the blue line, avoids the offside, going in quickly as Amante, but Hamelainen picks it up first. Amante can't control that, but it's still kept in the zone. Waits gets it right across, the tip is there, Olchek just couldn't get enough lumber on it. Alatello breaks one way as that comes on to this side. A chance for Paolo, Hatcher hammers him in in the woodwork. Koivu backhands it in, looking for number 15 there, Alatello. Burt is all over Alatello. Alatello backs in a Burt running interference. The shot comes in. That took a deflection. It's still kept in the zone, and the Americans under pressure. Hasher now. Hatcher skates away from Alatello. Feeds it up slowly on the right side, and the Americans will go for a change. That goes all the way down the ice, and that had to be a close icing call. In the National Hockey League, you can be two or three feet on the, the wrong side of the red line, but here they're calling everything by the book. Time is running out. Score is still tied. Both teams very deliberately taking their time with the line changes. The coach is having a good word with the players as they're going out and coming off the ice. It's coming down to the time when you're going to see the players peeling the tape off their sticks. Timeout has been called. And Tim Taylor brings in Turcotte and Podine and company. Matt Akinen calls his boys to the bench. 1-1 one, one the score. Less than two minutes on the clock. The 30-second timeout has expired. Matt Akinen has said what he wants to say. No let up in the support for the Finnish team. Confirmation there of the scoreline here in the third period. No one has left this rink, that's for sure. Well, I hope you're enjoying this one at home. It's live on Eurosport from Dortmund in Germany. You're going to see more of this, I hope, throughout the week. And the final week leading up to May 2nd when the big final will be held in Munich. If you like ice hockey, if you like it close and hard hitting, then stay with us. The officials directing Hauer out of the box. Sarakoski is allowed to stay. Turcotte is there. That comes back. Beers can't get a handle on it. Rhea Yarby is hooked up by Beers. That comes right out front. The shot from Vitakoski steered into the corner. And the Americans now pick it up. They collide. That's trickled out over the line. Fortunate for the Americans. They collided. That could have been disastrous. The Finns now coming forward. Some good stuff from Finland here in the dying seconds. Rhea Yarby couldn't hang on to that. Sarakoski has a, an opportunity now. He feeds it along the line. Sarakoski from behind the goal. He's got Vitakoski out front. Sarakoski tries to work his way out front, and the Americans happy just to get it out of the zone. Modano can't bat it down. Turcotte can. Turcotte bouncing that forward. Whoa, what kind of skills were those? Turcotte and Modano up there with Podine. Podine takes a swipe at it, drives it over to this side. Five seconds on the clock. Will the Americans get a chance to take the shot? I doubt it very much. There goes the buzzer to end the game. Both goaltenders outstanding as it ends in a 1-1 tie. The Finns with one win and one draw. The Americans now with a pair of draws in their first two games. Boy, that was exciting. Finland one and USA one. So 1-1 one, one the final score, no overtime here, and the Americans now, as you said, Richard, with two draws, at least they're getting points out there, they want to get into the final four of their group, the final four in group A play against the final four in group B, the top team that finishes in group A will play against the fourth team in B and so on, and now we're going to have a look at the man of the match for both teams, go ahead, pick them before they're called. I'd have to go with Ketterer for Finland, I think he played an outstanding game in the goal, and I'd probably take Amante from the Americans for his work. Team Finland, number 13, Markus Ketterer. 
Well, you're batting a thousand out there so far. Marcus Ketter, definitely one of the stars of this Finnish team. There were so many guys on the Finland side that played well. I thought Utila, except for his four minutes and penalties, had a strong game. Palo was quick up front. Corpusalo looked good at times, and Tikkanen never stopped skating. Mike Modano gets the starting nod for the USA side. This guy has played two excellent hockey games in the two times, or two times that he's been on the ice for the Americans. So that's the way it ends. Remember, we've got a couple of games coming up tomorrow. So stay with us on Eurosport. It'll be Germany against the French and then the Czechs against Norway. Two weeks of ice hockey on Eurosport.